Several years, I have come to this uh, Senate chamber to discuss my constitutional oversight of the Justice Department and the FBI. In many of those floor speeches, I've discussed legally protected and unclassified whistleblower disclosures that were made to my office relating to the Hunter Biden criminal investigation. These disclosures were made public in the interest of transparency and accountability because the public's business should be public and we should know as senators or congressmen and congresswomen whether the executive branch of government is faithfully executing the laws as the Constitution requires. Those disclosures that I've made have a very common theme. The Justice Department and FBI have allowed political infection to take root within each agency's decision-making process. Such an infection is an existential threat to any government agency, but to a law enforcement agency that can interfere with our constitutional rights, such an infection is catastrophic. After Crossfire Hurricane, which was the definition of a political investigation, the whistleblower disclosures demanded congressional attention more than ever. So, I wrote public letters asking questions. I directly asked the same to the Attorney General and the FBI Director at committee hearings. I've asked them alleg about allegations that politics infect infected the Hunter Biden investigation. This sort of political bias erodes trust in government and prevents the equal application of the law as required by the Constitution. I've also asked them about allegations that the FBI used false claims of Russian disinformation to bury potential criminal investigations about Hunter and James Biden. Also, I asked them about allegations regarding specific records within the department's possession relating to potential criminal conduct by the Bidens. I've asked about allegations regarding specific records that show Biden, Joe Biden may have been involved in Hunter Biden's business arrangements. The allegations my office has received are very precise, very direct, and very consistent. Accordingly, they're highly credible. These credible allegations raise important and fundamental questions, like these questions. Did the FBI follow normal investigative procedures to vet these claims? Did the FBI follow the facts wherever they led? Or did they improperly shut down credible leads in advance of the 2020 elections? Remember, I've made, I've been raising these questions for a long period of time. I've done it through many venues, letters, in hearings, in private calls with agency leadership, and like today, right here on the floor of the United States Senate. The Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of in Investigation had plenty of opportunities to respond to all these questions I've raised not once, so let me emphasize, not once 
has the Justice Department ever substantially disputed the whistleblower's allegations that I have made public. I've given the Attorney General Garland and Director Ray every opportunity to put our worst fears to rest and assure the American people, as they should, that everything has been done by the book. Both agencies have failed to do so. Just think how simple it is to say that everything was done right way, if they could say that. And that ought to tell you something. Even with their credibility online, the FBI and Justice Department has refused to cooperate when asked for basic information. So as you know, if you've been following all this stuff, and I don't expect people to have time to do that, but yesterday, House Chairman Comer and I issued a letter accompanied by a subpoena from the House Committee demanding one FBI document based on protected and highly credible whistleblower disclosures the unclassified document exists, and it's allegedly referencing a criminal scheme involving then Vice President Biden. Notably, it's a crime, it's a crime to provide false information to Congress during a congressional investigation. Most important, this very document was generated by the FBI themselves. It's time for the Justice Department and FBI to come clean to the American people. What did the Justice Department and FBI do to investigate the information in the document at issue? The answer goes to the heart of whether taxpayer-funded government agencies proceed normally or whether that agency cuts corners. Simply put, did the Justice Department and the FBI treat this information like they would if we, the people, were implicated? Or did they sweep it under the rug to protect then-candidate Biden uh, and, and President Biden now? If the Justice Department and FBI have any hope of redeeming their once trusted position, and that is what the American people have long held, to trust the FBI, Attorney General Garland and Director Ray must answer. Their credibility is on the line. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.